To ensure that the material properties and performance of the sealing system remains at the highest level even after longer storage periods, there are a few simple conditions to be observed regarding storage, storage periods, and cleaning of elastomer seals. The preferred storage temperature for elastomer seals is plus 15 degrees C and should not exceed plus 25 degrees C. Accordingly, sources of heat, such as radiators, boilers, or direct sunlight should be avoided. Temperatures should not drop below a maximum of minus 10 degrees C. As in this case, a stiffening of elastomer products occurs, the seal should be handled with special care to prevent deformation. Chloroprene materials should not be stored below minus 12 degrees C. It is important to ensure that the relative humidity in storage facilities is below 65%. Storage in humid rooms and condensation must be avoided. Neither should elastomer seals be stored in extremely dry conditions. Elastomer seals must be protected against sources of light with high UV content, as they might be able to damage the product. Examples of light sources with a high UV content include intense artificial light or direct sunlight. Light-induced damage can be avoided by adequate application of UV filters to the window panes in the storage room. All types of radiation such as gamma or radioactive radiation must be avoided. Greases, oils, and solvents may cause damage to elastomer seals. Therefore, it should be ensured that the seals cannot come into contact with these media in storage. Elastomer seals which are exposed to tensile or compressive strain or other type of deformation may be damaged. Cracking may occur. Therefore, the seals must be stored without being exposed to strain and deformation. A key criterion for the storage period of elastomers is the time at which the product was vulcanized. Parker indicates the date of manufacture on the packaging bags. The recommended maximum storage period depends on the type of elastomer. Elastomer seals should preferably be used within the statutory liability period of 24 months. Generally, elastomer seals should be protected against circulating air by suitable packaging, such as airtight containers. This is particularly important for very small seals with a large surface-to-volume ratio. Mercury vapor lamps, fluorescent light sources, electric motors, generally any device that is capable of producing ozone through sparks, electrical discharges, or high voltage fields must urgently be avoided. Ozone is harmful to many elastomers, so that storage rooms must be ozone free. This also applies to organic gases as well as combustion gases, as they are capable of producing ozone via a photochemical process. Elastomer products should not come into contact with metals, such as iron, copper, and manganese, as this may result in damage. The same applies to respective alloys, such as brass and nonmetals. Contact with materials containing plasticizers, such as PVC, must be avoided. Elastomer seals of different types, for example made of different materials or with different colors, should be stored separately. Elastomer seals should be cleaned swiftly using a clean cloth and lukewarm water. Exceptions are fabric-reinforced elastomer seals. In this case, contact with water must be avoided. Gasoline, benzene, turpentine, and similar substances are not suitable for use as cleaning fluids. Elastomer products must not come into contact with sharp-edged or pointed objects, such as steel brushes, sanding paper, etc. Drying near radiators is not recommended. Our application engineers will be pleased to advise you in case of special questions regarding storage and cleaning of elastomer seals.